it were me, I'm just getting something down to where you have a clean shot at the green. Driver, probably gonna be problematic. But that's up to you, <laughs> do what you want. I'm do what you want. Oh, it didn't oh my God, it's straight. All right, listen to the glass. Oh, oh. Well, it was probably a dumb decision. <laughs> um, you at least gave yourself a chance to make it work. Yeah. So good for you. All right, I'll take All right. that. All right, guys, today we're back at Crystal Springs. It's quickly becoming a home away from home for us. But one thing we haven't checked out yet is right here, the David Ledbetter Academy. We're going to be working with Tom Reynolds. We're going to go out there. We're going to do a little lesson here on the range. We're going to go out and do a little playing lesson. We often learn so much in these, and hopefully you guys watching along will get a chance to learn something too. But Mike, Excited to get a little improvement today or what? You know, we played 100 holes in Pinehurst. Definitely found some flaws in my game, so I'm excited to learn. That's right. You know, we need it. This is going to be a fun one, so follow along, guys. So, Tom, how long have you been here with the Ledbetter Academy? Uh, Ledbetter Academy, I've been here uh, 2011, I believe, was my first year with Ledbetter. I've wow. been at the resort here. This is my 20th season. Wow. Yeah, okay. quite a while. Quite a while. So what are we going to do today? Where are we going to get started? Just warming up here a little bit? Yeah, we're going to warm up, uh, ease our way into it. So uh, we have a playing lesson. So just kind of want to kind of get a feel for Mike's tendencies. Just want to watch him swing. Less concerned about correcting stuff, more concerned to see about, you know, what he does well, uh, what strengths we can play to out there. All right, just did a quick little warm up on the range, basically just so that Tom could get an idea of our swing, asking us some questions, just talking about what are some of our, our more comfortable and less comfortable shots are, so he knows that when we go out there. But now we're headed out to the first tee. This is where the real lesson begins. Par five, very narrow, okay? I mean, to me, it's a three shot hole, even though it's probably doable in two from here. Given that it's your first hole, you can see the fairway's relatively flat up in front of that bunker on the right. Mm -hmm. Just hit something in that area lay up to the next flat area, hit a wedge into the green. Usually the best way to roll starting out. Gotcha, simple as that. Absolutely, easy peasy. <laughs> easy. Yeah. It's gonna be just fine. We're off and running, very good. So something like in this case you would say, you've, we're taking the three wood out because we're, there's no chance, not going for it, I don't wanna bring all that trouble in. So just maybe a six iron somewhere down to those signs that'll leave yeah, me a wedge whatever's going to get you just beyond those signs i'd say would, would be fine you're going to have something very short going in and the green's built more to receive that kind of a shot than a three wood anyway when you get up there you'll see the green from front to back yeah. at least from our vantage point isn't very deep so if you hit a three wood perfect you might skip it into that bunker and then you have a downhill bunker shot yeah. you know course management right there absolutely should be good, probably catch some of the rough. Nope, good kick on the fairway. Just pretty much right to the side. Right there. to the side. Yeah. Chuck. Well, Mike, we're not in uh, Pinehurst anymore. The rough is back. No, no more waste bunkers. The heavy, thick New Jersey rough is back. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tom, here we are with our first, which I th think is going to be many of these uphill or downhill lies in the rough. Right. I got a look at 213. It looks a little elevated. So I probably, theor like theoretically, at my skill level, I can't get home. It would be a luck shot. And, and, yeah, It'd be a perfect five iron or maybe four iron even, and like you said, all that trouble's behind it. So do you just play for kind of that layup in the throat? Yeah, two options, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a little, almost a little buried there too, so you're gonna wanna take some practice swings and test to see how invasive the grass is. Okay. You might get a little bit of a knuckleball out here. If you're really uncomfortable with it, scoot it past the signs, not unlike what Frank just did back there. <laughs> okay. Um, if you're more comfortable with it, you know, you can kind of go up into the neck there on the right. Okay, I think I like that play, because mm -hmm. it does look like it's gonna be real grabby and wet. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Came out nice. Yeah, I think that's gonna be right where I want it. Land there. All right. That's can't dial it up any better than that. There we go. So far, so good. So one thing you're witnessing and why I enjoy these playing lessons so much is because of the fact that, um, you, you know, you're not working so much on your swing, but you're working through the thinking, the, the, the strategy, which I feel like myself definitely included and so many newer golfers just don't do. So uh, that's something, that you, just getting that new way of thinking and smarter golf, it's worth its weight in gold. I was gonna say, where is it? Yeah. Exactly, couldn't find where it. Where is it? Every time yeah. you need a coach to help you here. Well, hey, at least okay. we're not in the bunker, right? <laughs> we could be in about a minute. Um, all right. So, yeah, so this is tough because I got to get up and over this bunker, out of this lie. I'll tell you, all that grass is going this way. Uh-huh. I mean, the only thing I would normally do, just because I got to get it up and then stop it, would hit my 60 and just try to loft it up there. I'm just worried about how that, what that grass is going to do when I get in there. Well, so, yeah, again, rehearse, you know, rehearse in an area that's as similar as you can. See, and then what happened is I went under it. Yeah. 
Now, note, note the difference there between your rehearsals and the ball, right? Yeah. The rehearsals all run a, a very similar depth to the ball. You can see there's no big pork chop of a divot. Right. Right, with the ball, you actually kind of change a little bit. So feel, you want to kind of mimic the rehearsal as much as you can in these situations. Yeah. But again, that's one, that's a challenging shot for anybody. You want to write that down and practice that. Let's I'm going to try that again. Mm -hmm. I think what it is, is that once push came to shove, practice swings aside, I was just so worried about getting down into there that I actually went too far down. Co correct. Yeah. You know? Correct. So, All right, so let's try to go a little shallower. Yeah. And be worried about hitting it good. Be worried about what you want, not what you don't want. That's much better. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I like that phrase. Be worried about what you want, not what you don't Absolutely. want. Absolutely. Because that's what I was thinking. I don't want to yeah. like, not get to that ball. The human mind doesn't like that. Yeah. All right. That's good to know. All right. All right, guys. Hopefully, you're picking up a few of these gems already, which I know we are. All ears, man. You got to learn when you're out here. But also, I want to take a moment to say, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you can subscribe. You could be just like Kirk, who was our winner for the Titleist Hybrid giveaway. We called him and surprised him with a quick FaceTime. Take a look at this. Let's surprise some YouTube subscribers with free clubs. Moment of truth. It's ringing. Hey. Whoa! Hey guys! <laughs> You're the winner of our, our hybrid giveaway. No way! <laughs> yeah, dude. It's incredible! Yeah, man. Nothing makes me happier than just making people's day. And it's all thanks to giving back thanks to you guys for subscribing because you guys are the reason we get to do this fun stuff. But let's get back to the lesson. So Mike, something Tom's already said that I'm now thinking, I'm putting it already as a mantra with every swing, is this idea of focus on what you want not what you don't want. So it. many of us yeah. as golfers, right? We're like, don't hit don't, it right. Don't focus on the miss. Don't do right. this. And I did that back there and flubbed it into the bunker. There you go. So it's like now I'm just more so focused on the target, focus on what I want. It is a minor but important little shift for yeah, confidence. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah. All right, walking up to my third birdie putt in a row. I gotta tell you, lots of calmness out here playing with Tom. I feel good. He's keeping me calm. And like I said, I love playing with people like that because you learn a lot. So tempo is in check. Now we've got a tricky up and down swooper for birdie. I want to make one today though. I just do. Three piece read. Okay. So preliminary read. That's what we're doing right now. We're just observing, right? Okay. Then a living read. Okay. So I like to walk all the way to the hole and walk back. Okay. When we do that, you're feeling the terrain. Uh, you're covering the distance. Your central nervous system is a very powerful thing. You're living the putt as much as you can. I love that. So have yeah. you ever missed a putt, dropped another putt, and just canned it? Yep. Yeah, so you're kind of activating that mm -hmm. a little bit. So let's take a walk on whatever you think the low side of the putt is. Like I just said, you're feeling this, and you're feeling all kinds of stuff you don't even realize. Now we're just going to take a look behind the hole, see if there's anything you have to respect back here. You occasionally get a nasty hill or something right behind it. I do see a little move off at the end that's uh -huh. gonna go this way. And does it look more downhill from here than it did from over there? From here it does. So we're going up and then we're coming down. Correct. Now let's take a walk back. We haven't made any decisions yet. Okay, we're gonna go all the way back behind the ball and this is definitive. Whatever you decide here is correct. As far as you're concerned, it's 100% gonna go in. Even though we'll say this is a low percentage putt distance wise. Get your read from the hole back to you like it's in rewind. What part of the hole is it going to drop into? Right, so seeing that, see that, that brown patch? Yep. All right. That was kind of my aim point yep. of trying to hopefully get it to to die and trickle I down agree. to the hole. I agree. Okay, so aim your, aim your, you know, mark your ball, whatever. Aim so that's possible, right? Yep. It's literally all speed. And you go into, your, into this with the mindset that you're going to make it. I've always been good with studying for the test. I just always fail the test. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a good study sesh. Now let's pass it. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. Absolutely. I'm pretty happy with that. Absolutely. You know? Right. No brainer par. Yeah. Right? Hey guys, I just want to take a quick moment to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Best of all, Skillshare helps you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. We are always using Skillshare to learn new ways to improve the videos we make here on the channel. And the things you learn in Skillshare classes can help you with everything from launching a podcast to building your website. A few of our favorite Skillshare classes include Podcasting 101 with Donald Fitzgill, Productivity Masterclass with Thomas Frank, and Intro to SEO with Rand Fishkin. 
you simply will not believe how many things there are to learn on Skillshare. And the best part is that Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes, so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Oh, and get this, Skillshare is only $10 a month with an annual subscription. Plus, the first 1,000 of our subscribers who click the link in the video description will get a free trial of their premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So no matter what 2021 brings, you can spend it creating something meaningful with Skillshare's online classes. All right, guys, now back to our playing lesson. Found yet another uneven line. All right, so hang on one second. You're yep. kind of aimed right at that tree right now. Yep. You don't want to aim right at that tree. Okay. All right, so get, always get your alignment from back here. Don't ever get in right next to the ball. You'll aim better. Yeah, that one would have been a disaster. <laughs> so, yeah, let's try, <laughs> try to right. avoid those. Yeah, disasters. so get it back to kind of find an intermediate target. Now you're a little closer to the right side of the green, okay. which is a little more doable. It worked out fine. No big deal. So right. what was that routine, Tom, you yeah. were saying about so, picking that alignment a little bit better? All right, so yeah, usually if I'm having a conversation with you, I'm standing this way. I'm not standing on the side talking to you, right? So if you just kind of get into the ball from the side of it, you're never going to aim it well. Alignment's actually kind of a tricky thing. So with any shot, you want to start behind it on a direct line for at least where you want to start the shot. So here we want to start it a little, just a shade left of this tree. If you start here and walk into it, you can pick an intermediate target but even if you screw up, you're much like, much more likely to be in the ballpark, all right? Whereas when Mike got in there, he just kind of got it on the side and, you know, if we skull one through the chute here, someone's losing a window, right? <laughs> right? You know, so, and that's a very, very, that's an extremely common mistake. Most people do that, you know, without having any idea. And then, you know, blame your golf swing for everything. Yeah, exactly. Right, but really that was a simple mistake at address. That's something that requires as much work as your golf swing, really, truthfully. I like that a lot. Go ahead. Nice shot, man. No! Yeah, I just tried to roll it down the hill and yep. all speed. Was, yep. Speed, 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 speed. All right, Tom, our first par three. Now, as amateurs, we get up to it, we see a sign with a nice juicy one handle number. We figure it's going to be an easy hole, but it, sometimes it gives us the most trouble. Do you have any yeah. tips for a par three? Yeah. Anything special? Uh, especially this one, yeah. all right? So we've got a topographical map of the green on the back of the scorecard here we've got the pin all the way in the back you don't really want to miss it long so if you're unclear what to do maybe go down a club okay that'd be one thing pay pay attention to not just the number right but where the hole is on the green that's what i want yeah all i can, all I can say <laughs> just do your yeah, best do your best <laughs> I've seen Mike get out of jail a lot of times, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal. I love it. I can't give up the slop. <laughs> Eats the slop. Eats the slop. <laughs> love the slop, baby. Take that. Take that. Oh, I gave it too much pace. That's would have been right. something. Yeah. Roll, 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 roll. Thanks. Thinking about playing aggressively defensive. If it were me, I'm just getting something down to where you have a clean shot at the green. Driver probably going to be problematic. But that's up to you. <laughs> Do what you want. I'm channeling my inner tobacco road right now. All right, because this said this looks just <laughs> like that shot. Over that tree. You guy drives Shoot. one par four. I drive one par four, and then I just always And he's, he's a monster after that. <laughs> you know what? Do what you want. All right. Just tell all the people in those houses to please evacuate for a few minutes. I always tell pros or, or playing pros or coaches that when you when you play with Frank and I, you get completely different strategies. So you get to see both. You get that grip. You get a little bit of both. Yeah. 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 All right, let's give it a shot here. Tom, before we let him hit this shot, just okay. tell us how people can come and, and work with you because we're already, we're learning so much. So how can people work with you, work with the Ledbetter Academy here at Crystal Springs? Yeah, give us a call, 973-864-8907, or you can email us at info at lgacrystalsprings.com and uh, we'll find a program for you. We take pride in having lots of different programs for any skill level. Do you do a lot of these types of playing lessons? Uh, most playing lessons I do are with clients who I've worked with a little bit. Uh -huh. um, and I, I think this is a very important part of it because the game's much bigger than, you know, simply hitting rain shots, right? Of course, right. Um, so yeah, this is something we do once we, you know, 
get practicing and training and get things to a certain standard, you know, and then we get out here and try to do it for real. There you go. And we'll put all those links in the video description, but now that we've thoroughly iced Mike, <laughs> let's, let him, let's let him hit this shot. Let's go. Call that timeout before the field goal. I love it. Right. All right, here we go. Oh, it didn't fade. Oh my God, it's straight. All right, listen for the glass. Yeah, you got, you got insurance? Oh, 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 God, what was that? It was a thud, not a glass, so it's okay, I think. Yeah, unless it's right? someone's skull. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna play the conservative part here. While it was probably a dumb decision, <laughs> um, you at least gave yourself a chance to make it work, yeah. so good for you. All right, I'll take right. that. And Frank plays the right move. That's a small thing to Hybrid do. to the fairway. Yep. Not as exciting though. No. <laughs> There's no pitchforks or anyone shaking their fists, so. I definitely hit a roof, but it's gone. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's, it's on the green. There was no glass. No. Make sure we check the hole. <laughs> yeah. Came out a little more right than I like. That's right, you gotta putt at it. Stick it on the green. Great, yeah, great, it great, up, great putt. Yeah, like right? Yeah. Putt. He did that well. We like no-brainer pars. Awesome. Happy with that. Thanks. So, in that scenario, I feel like Tom just like walked you all the way tee to green there. Yeah. Yeah, well, we played a smart. Yep. Well, I'm not knocking you. No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but we played, a, me. <laughs> we played a smart hybrid just to get to the fairway, which left me just a nine iron out. Knew that it would work because of the lie. Tom walked me through it. We knew it would work right. It worked right a little bit further than I wanted, but then we'd use that three-step reading system. And get Put out it of the to park. a gimme par range. It's brilliant. Cough's easy. <laughs> you got to play play to your strengths. If it were me, I'd be hitting something. I'd, I'm not worried about getting it close, but I'd try to stay under this stuff. Under. It. Yeah, if it were me. But you do you do based on what your strengths are always, 100 percent of the time. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Good job, dude. Don't listen to me. It fit off more than I uh, than I wanted to over the tree, but I'm happy. It's fine. We see it landed soft, right? Yeah. That's the value of hitting that high shot. We'll take that. All right, now we're going over to nine. Let me see if I can get closest on Frank here. I love this hole. It's the ninth hole before you make the turn. As I was saying, it's kind of like it's New Jersey's version of TPC Sawgrass a little bit. Number 17. So Frank, let's give a crack. Let's see if you can get closest here. All right, final hole here today. It's the ninth. It's got a sucker pin position, right, Tom, in the front. Okay. 133, Tom says play the middle number, we got a little backstop, so I'm gonna take the 45, 145 club, and see if we can just hit the middle of the green. Oh, catch a piece, catch a piece! Oh, I got a little fat down there. Gets longer that way, that's for sure. Low, low. low. Right. You're up there. Yeah, yeah, man. At least we're putt. All right. All right, guys, that's it. Incredible playing lesson here at the Ledbetter Academy at Crystal Springs. Big thanks to Tom Reynolds and the team. Guys, if you're in the area, come check them out. You will not be disappointed. We learned a lot today, Frank, right? So much. So much. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.